the renewed mind. Our scripture reading is taken from Romans 12 verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The role of man in the salvation of the soul is to believe in Jesus Christ as the perfect Redeemer, not for someone else, but for himself. He should trust, love, and fear the God of heaven. A certain task needs to be accomplished. Man must be freed from the power of sin and made flawless in every good deed. Only by doing what Christ says can he be sure that his house is built on a solid foundation. To listen, talk, preach, and not to follow Christ's words is like building on sand. Those who obey Christ will develop a Christian character because they share the same will as Christ. This way, Christ is formed inside them, giving them hope of glory. They are seeing the glory of God as in a mirror. By focusing on Christ, he will become the topic of discussion, and by contemplating him, we will transform into the same image, from glory to glory, by the Spirit of the Lord. Fallen man can be renewed by changing his mind so that he can prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. How does one prove this? By allowing the Holy Spirit to take possession of their mind, spirit, heart, and character. When does the proving take place? We are made a spectacle to the world and to angels and to men, 1 Corinthians 4 verse 9. A genuine transformation is brought about by the Holy Spirit within the human character, and it is evidenced by its fruits. Just as a good tree will bear good fruit, so will a tree that is truly planted in the Lord's garden produce good fruit that leads to eternal life. In addition, sinful acts are overcome, impure thoughts are not allowed in the mind, and bad habits are purged from the soul's temple. The tendencies that have been biased in the wrong direction are turned towards the right direction. Wrong dispositions and feelings are rooted out, and holy and sanctified emotions are now the fruit born on the Christian tree. A complete transformation has taken place, and this is the work that needs to be done. Thank you for listening. God bless you.